know what a rabbi does. You don't know our theology. How dare you call him an unholy rabbi? How dare you go into the misogynistic, excuse me, the, the, the anti-Semitic trope of his hag daughter, something used throughout the late 18th and, and early uh, through the early 20th century. Sorry, sorry, hag is now anti-Semitic? So that is a term of his hag daughter that goes back into the witches of, of, of Eastern Europe. Why did you have to call her a hag daughter? Just Tell to be me that. clear, because she's a witch. I think she's a witch. That's not because she's are, Jewish. Are you I, you by calling a rabbi's daughter her a witch, a hag daughter. You have tapped into an anti-Semitic trope that goes back hundreds of years. I called his daughter a hag, and I meant it. I'm not taking the words back. I am not going to be told whether you want to dress it up as anti-Semitism, you want to dress it up as that, that I cannot respond and defend myself. I'm certainly not going to be told that I need to be contained in how I respond. After now, with that being they throw around this anti-Semitism thing. The thing is, Sim is come from Shem. Many people are Shemitic, not just these Jewish people that's out in wherever. I don't know wherever they are that just say they are Shemitic. No, many people are Shemitic. So they throw out this anti-Shemitic thing with the hopes of protecting themselves and they get to point the finger at people. But y'all got to start getting hip and study the, the Bible. Y'all got to study these scriptures. But let's continue. Uh, news breaks this morning from the Daily Wire CEO, Jeremy Boring. He tweets, quote, Daily Wire and Candace Owens have ended their relationship. So this comes after a lot of internal consternation between Candace Owens and Ben Shapiro that has exploded in the open after October the 7th. Candace has been quite vocal in an anti-war stance both on Ukraine and has carried over a lot of that consistency to the war between Israel and Gaza. She's been particularly outspoken about civilian casualties in Gaza and has also been against sending U.S. weapons to Israel. Now, obviously, this all broke out into the open. You'll recall a few months ago when Ben Shapiro was asked on camera and called her comments about Israel, quote, disgraceful. Uh, this led to a public spat between the two in which Ben replied to her and said, Candace, you are welcome to quit at any time. Uh, there was some speculation that that might have been to involve having to pay her out of her contract. The circumstances, obviously, of her departure are not 100 percent clear. What we do know, though, is that it came almost immediately after a major uh, fracas, I guess you could say, with with the ADL. Let's go ahead and put this up there on the screen. Just yesterday, the ADL, the so-called Anti-Defamation League, and one of the most censorious organizations and pro-Israel groups in the U.S., they put out an article stating, quote, White supremacist and Holocaust denier Nick Fuentes is praising Candace Owens, quote, vitriolic anti-Semitism. It is hardly surprising, but it does set off alarm bells. When bigoted people come together to push an anti-Semitic agenda, it adds fuel to the fire. Uh, so Candace replied to this. She says, quote, I do not know Nick Fuentes. You already know that. What I do know is that everyone can see what you guys are doing to me. Your pattern is well established and the world is waking up against it. My crime is having stood up for myself against your network of smears. Now, Candace has particularly come under major fire since October 7th from a lot of these major conservative media or, or a lot of these conservative organizations or organizations like the ADL, like APAC, uh, like the Republican Jewish Coalition and others. They've attacked her relentlessly. She has not uh, given in and, in fact, has only escalated some of the things that she's talking about. This has led to some major debates on her channel. For example, with rabbis uh, leading to some, frankly, wild discussions around what exactly constitutes anti-Semitism and doesn't. Uh, but most importantly, I think for our purposes, it does seem that she had no idea that, she, that yesterday would be her last day. We actually have a clip here that we can play from her very last Daily Wire appearance. She says at the end, I'll see you tomorrow. And she hints at the fact that some of the uh, consternation that she's kind of bubbling to the surface. Let's take a listen. I thank everybody who has been on this journey with me, people that have supported me. I especially want to thank all of the Jewish people that have been in the comments saying how outraged they are. And I know that it is especially difficult for you guys right now because you are being smeared, you know? I mean, I am, I'm not going to go away. I'm going to use my God-given voice to talk about the things that are important for me. I'm just asking to be left alone, or at least just report the truth. 
Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, that is all the time that we have for today. But don't worry, because we will see you tomorrow for a brand new episode. So as you can see, I mean, this has been a major source of tension inside the Daily Wire now for months and months and months. Uh, and I think, look, what, what, what can we learn about this? I mean, first and foremost, it's a little bit hilarious, right, that this is what led to the uh, this is what led to the departure over at the Daily Wire. Like Candace, look, whether you like her or not, she said a lot of things. She said a lot of controversials. She actually just did a whole segment about Brigitte Macron perhaps being a male. Uh, I haven't watched it. I haven't looked into it, just to be clear. So I don't know the merits or whatever that. But my point is that all of that, that was fine. And that never kicked up a hornet's nest. It was only when she started critiquing Israeli war strategy in Gaza and talking about civilian casualties did all of this come to the surface. And frankly, saying what I think are principled and more, at, or at the very least, principled, principled within her framework of looking at war at Ukraine and at Israel, adopting an America first strategy, it was only that, clinging to that, which led to basically the breakup between her and this major company. Uh, and I think that we can learn quite a bit from that. I mean, there's so much to say, right? First of all, the ADL. I mean, Ben Shapiro himself has gone after the ADL. I've seen innumerable Daily Wire segments about the ADL, Sensorius, and all that. And yet they're, you know, parting ways with her the very, immediately after the ADL. Incorrectly, by the way, guilt by association smear her. says, so-and-so is praising so-and-so. So? You can't control that. If you want to attack somebody, then attack what they specifically said. They're using guilt by association. Now, we don't know, again, what the exact thing that led to the breakage between them but prior to obviously there's an imbalance in society why are there a group of people being protected more than the other group of people so when you look on the streets of let's say philadelphia and uh california you have many 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 thousands thousands of homeless people living out on the streets why isn't America addressing those issues? Why they are always worried about other countries? Like why, like why are there people being protected versus the people in your own home? So I just started to get hip to Candace Owens. I love the way she uh, speaks. She knows how to articulate herself very well. And um, she has a very, very, interesting story uh i do recommend you guys to go check her out candace owens i'm just getting hip to her and i've been binge watching her um her stand-ups you know uh the the rally she attend and all that stuff i've been binge watching it and she's a very very unique individual i i love this sister um i love the messages that she she has and she just got fired from this place. You know what I'm saying? But that's not going to stop her. As you, ju you just seen her say it, that is not going to stop her. Look at her story. You know, it, it's, you know, some people are sent. Some people are a gift from God to, to wake up the people, man. And I believe that she's one of those individuals. And yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about the sister Candace Owens in the comments. Big kids signing out, man. I just had to. I just had to dro drop that one on y'all, man. But yeah, I'm gone, man.